Hello and welcome to a new Blender Quick Tip. Today we'll look at how to combine passes with each other. Um, as you can see, I've prepared a preset that you can use and um, it is quite simple. It is not, not nothing fancy. You just have to add the diffuse direct to the diffuse indirect and then multiplicate it by the color information. You just do that with a glossy, translucency, volume, and then of course there's emit and environment. You can add these together. And then you have the shadow and the AO information, which you can also add together. Um, you can use the shadow pass or the shadow catcher. It's up to you. Shadow catcher is a more modern function where you can just include the shadow without any other information uh, with transparency. So you combine these and then you have a node like this, which adds the, di uh, the diffuse pass with the glossy pass, with the translucency pass, with the volume pass, and you add all these together. The only difference here is the multiplication of the ambient occlusion. The ambient occlusion is multipl uh, multiplied in this setup. Um, you also have a denoise node at the end to make the picture much cleaner. So, and then I've also created a switch where you can switch between the original image and the image that is combined with each other. And as you can see, there's a little difference. And the difference is when we switch it off, we have the original image. The difference is because of the ambient occlusion, the picture appears finally a little bit darker. As you can see, it takes just a moment. So there. Now you have a little darker image because of the ambient occlusion. If you just go before the ambient occlusion and just pass it out, let's connect these and wait a second. And there you can see if I just switch it, there's actually no difference at all. So I hope this tip was useful for you. If there's anything else you want to know about, just leave a comment in the comment section. Otherwise, see you next time and God bless you.